Hi everyone, so I thought I'd give a bit of an update on the PSP Consolizer project. As you can see, it's finished. All mounted in a fancy little wooden box. Um, let me see if I can get a light on, because it's a bit dark there where I've mounted it. There we go. A bit too bright, but it'll do. So as you can see, it's all fully mounted. We've got the 3D printed mount back there. Um, fix the issue of the layout with the Arduino and the digital potentiometer. Um, like an idiot, I had the Arduino mounted the wrong way around so you couldn't access the USB port to actually program it, which is a bit daft. And did some neatening up of the FFC cables. So it looks quite nice and it works well. Um, LED hooked in, controller reset button, not controller reset, controller sync button. Um, easy access to the jumpers for when you're programming because you have to remove that. Um, otherwise, you might try and power up the PSP via the Arduino's USB, which would be a bit daft. Um, but yeah, looks quite nice, I think. So, the hardware's finished. Um, the software running on the Arduino is finished. So next is what I've been building is a way of programming the Arduino um, without needing to install the Arduino IDE and compile it and manually upload it and manually flash the firmware on the Nina chip because you've got the Arduino and you've got the Nina chip which is sort of like a, two things talking to each other. So that deals with the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and then you've got the actual Arduino doing its own thing there. So I've made a little Electron app um, it's like an installer, it's just a one click, push the button once and boom, off it goes. It will upload everything for you in one go. And you can actually use it in here once this is all soldered in. Um, so, you know, if, if I do a new release, make a change or whatever, and you need to upgrade an existing install, you can use that. So I figured um, I'd show you that and yeah. Okay, so what have we got here? Well, we've got another Arduino Nano, um, one where I snapped the bloody aerial off but it's good enough to show you actually programming it. So this is all bog standard. The firmware running on there is the default one and it's currently running the Blink um, sketch. So it's just like, you know, out of the box standard. So I've got this little application that I've made. Um, in fact, I will cut to a screen capture rather than recording it on my phone because it looks a bit crap. So again, we have the Electron app. So this is just a, an EXE. It's just all self-packaged. Everything you need is within here. So the idea is when I do a release on GitHub with all of the hardware files, everything you need, um, it will also include this. And this will be pre-packaged with everything. You just run it. And so I'm just recording this on my headset, by the way. So if it sounds a bit worse than it did before, that'll be why. But yeah, so you just open this up. It takes a few seconds because, like I say, everything's pre-packaged into it. Um, you don't need the Arduino IDE, you don't need to compile anything, you just run this. So it gives you a little bit of a warning, you know, make sure you've turned it on and all that sort of stuff. And click the go button, and then you just click the program button. So what it will do is it will install some bits and bobs for the Arduino CLI that it's got under the hood. It will check the version of the firmware on the Nina, which is what it's doing now. Um, if it determines that the version on it is the default or it's not the one you're expecting, it will install the firmware. So it's realised now that it's running the default firmware. Now it's going to flash the firmware onto the Nina chip, which is what it's doing now. And let's see if it gets past this point. Yay, success. So now it's actually going to flash the custom BluePad32 firmware to the Nina chip, which is the thing that actually allows us to talk to the um, Bluetooth controllers. It's a third party library that it uses. So just wait for it to go through its thing. So with that done, it will now recheck the version of the firmware to be sure that it was successful. Um, so that's what it's checking now. Because I can see now the firmware says uh, BluePad32, so it's been a successful upgrade. So now it will actually upload the PSP Consolizer firmware, which is what it's doing now. And that's it, we're finished. So if you were to run that again, it would realise that it's already got the correct uh, Nina firmware, so it wouldn't bother reflashing that, so it would be much quicker the second time around. So now it's checking the version of the firmware. You see, we're already on the blue pad, so it's not going to bother upgrading that, it's not needed. 
and instead just flash the PSP consolizer to the Arduino. And we're done, and that's it. So that would be sort of the process for programming the board, is what I'm thinking. Um, nice and easy, or at least that's the idea. But yeah, so that's it. So thanks for watching, and until next time.